There we go guys, CMU has been set up on my Android device and as you guys can see, we are running the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker on CMU in Android. Yo what's up guys, it's Aptrix here. This might be one of the most awaited videos on my channel because we'll be running the original CMU latest builds on our Android devices and try to emulate some Wii U games. I'll be talking about the minimum requirements setup and much more. So let's get started. First of all, CMU hasn't officially released for Android devices. We'll be using the Mobox Windows emulator for Android to run this emulator. Let me also tell you guys the Mobox build which you'll need to use if you want to run the CMU on Android. The latest Mobox WoW 64 version will not work with C emulator Android. We'll need to use the old Mobox build with Box 86 or else you'll get Vulkan driver issues. This is very important. Let's talk about the minimum requirements. You need at least 6 to 8 GB of RAM, preferably 16 GB of RAM and also Snapdragon. 860 processor or above if you want to emulate high-end Wii U titles. You can also emulate some low-end titles for that minimum requirements will be Snapdragon 680 processor or above. But anyways let me just go ahead and go to the settings then go to dynamic settings. Here you will notice that I am using the configuration 45 for CEMU. Let me head back and also show you guys the Wine version which we will be using. You will be able to see we are running the Wine GE custom 825 on our Android devices. This is also very important other Wine builds won't work properly with CEMU. With that being said, let's just go ahead and start Wine. Now, CMU is a completely open source Wii U emulator which is available on its GitHub page. You can pick up its latest releases. Even the experimental builds work on the Mobox emulator Android. If you guys remember, then previously we tried running the RPCS3 PS3 emulator on Android using Mobox, and CMU is also similar where we had to use literally 6 to 7 year old builds. Anyways, to start using CMU on Android, you can try out these two builds. The first one is CMU 1.26.2. It is the stable CMU Vulkan build. The second one is CMU 2.0.65. This is the latest build which I am talking about. We'll also be setting this up in our today's video. Basically, you'll need to dump your Wii U games onto your Android devices legally as well as set up the C emulator. For that, let's just go ahead and open the CMU app. But with a twist that you can actually use the latest builds of CMU, unlike the RPCS3. First of all, we'll be setting up the latest build of CMU. As you can see, we have the getting started option. Here, we'll need to input the game path. Now, most of the times on low end devices, when you tap on the browse section and choose the directory, then immediately the Mobox simulator will crash because it's very hard to load directories for that. Uh, I'll recommend you guys to just go ahead and tap on these plus icons at the top left corner. Don't open entire directories. Anyways, once that has been done, we'll just go ahead and tap on the next option, then tap on the close option. Now, you'll also need to set up the on-screen touch controls for being able to play CMU on Android. That process is a bit hectic. I can make a dedicated video on it if you guys want me to. And we'll also be testing out huge titles on the CMU emulator Android, such as Zelda games, WWE games, and many other games which you can comment down below and let me know. Anyways, as you guys can see, CMU has already started on our Android device. Let's just go ahead and minimize this version of CMU and let's try out the older build. Anyways, now that I have finished setting up the CMU old build as well, let's just go ahead and go to the options section and then check out the general settings. Let me also tell you guys the best settings which you'll need to use. To the graphics section, afterwards make sure that the graphics API is set to Vulkan because Vulkan will provide you with the most amount of performance possible. Graphics devices should be selected as the graphic driver present on your device. So my device has turned up Adreno 740 graphics device. VSync has been disabled. Along with that, asynchronous shader compiling is also disabled. Upscale filter, you can set it to bilinear. Once that has been done, that's going to be it about the best settings. You can head on over to the overlay section and enable or disable overlays of your choice. For example, FPS has been tick marked. You can also uh, enable CPU usage if you want to get some more information. You can also enable RAM usage, but uh, I won't be doing so. Anyways, you can head on over to the general settings and you can also add additional game paths. Once that has been done, you can just go ahead and tap on the file option and then import the Wii U games which you have dumped on your Android device. With that being said, let's just go ahead and try out the small title known as Shovel Knight on our Android devices. So we have just tapped on the start button and immediately our game should successfully start as you guys can see right here. Now first thing which you'll notice is the fact that shaders will be compiled and there will be a flickering issues. To fix this flickering issue, you just have to go ahead and tap on the options icon. Afterwards, just go ahead and enable full screen. It will stop uh, the flickering issues. Now I have already configured my controls for CMU on Android. 
you can do that with the help of input bridge anyways as you guys can see we are about to play an a uh, Wii U game on our Android devices so let's just start a new adventure and the emulator just crashed so a possible fix for this is to just go ahead and go to the start option and afterwards uh, make sure to decrease the DXVK version to 0.96 the CMU will work a bit better now that the CMU older build crashed let's just go ahead and try out the newer build and also let me show you guys the settings present in this latest build of CMU Android. It should be similar uh, to the previous build. So let's go to graphics, upscale filter should be bilinear and yeah, that's about it. Uh, you don't need to change anything else. We'll also enable uh, the CPU usage option, then tap on the cross option. And as you guys can see, we are about to play the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker on our Android devices. Let's just go ahead and tap any button and our game should successfully start. Yeah, there we go. The FPS which we are getting, I can't really see it because it's hidden. Uh, we'll be using the Wii U gamepad controls, so let's just go ahead and tap on the B button to select our control. Now there is some flickering and stuttering issues as you might be able to see and unfortunately the Shovel Knight was just crashing every single, every two seconds so that's why I am not going to show you guys its gameplay, it's not worth it. I am unsure but uh, the... I'm unsure but Shovel Knight is just crashing so we'll be trying out our next game which is The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I have tapped on the start button and immediately the game should start loading as you might be able to see. It has also opened in full screen which is a good thing but unfortunately there will be some flickering issues as well as graphical issues and after a lot of uh, flickering issues as you will be able to say save data has been created and currently emulating this game is super hard because we are literally emulating an Wii U game on a Windows emulator onto our Android devices so let's just go ahead and tap on the B button to start our game now immediately after the main menu you will notice that the graphical issues will calm down a little bit and yeah this game again i think will face and deadlocks so we'll need to test out many games which are properly supported and which are not be sure to stay tuned on my channel i'll be uploading few gameplay videos pretty soon so till then thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time goodbye